Okay, so in today's episode of iPad Look, I'm going to be talking about right here uh, iPad, the kind of iPad case you're going to want uh, to protect your iPad. Um, you know, that's a good idea. Uh, some animation apps, three of them, and um, SoundHound, which I will explain later. So right now, I have this little case thing. Bought a little while ago, been using it. Currently, I don't have my iPad in it, but I'm just kind of showing you so you can see it. Uh, this is just a little Velcro thing. You open that up, stick your iPad in, and this Velcro is in like that. So you can kind of see, you know, like that. So basically, you know. With this case, it's uh, made by uh, in case for the iPad and some other thing. It has this little uh, flap so you can wrap it around your fingers while you're holding it like that, like uh, this. So it's great design. You can maybe uh, what I do is put like a little cloth in there uh, that I use for cleaning my iPad, which I don't currently. Oh, it actually, it's right here. So that's it. Um, you know, you can just stick that in there. You know, it holds it pretty well. You know, sometimes I'd fold it, but right now I'm holding the camera. So, uh, the only problem that I find is uh, in the button layout. Like, it, everything works. Like, it has the uh, power button right there. Uh, you know, some other places for that. Right here, the audio is kind of covered by part of the plastic. So, the audio down or... Uh, up whatever it is is covered so you can you can still press it just because it's like really close but it's uh, the only thing you know it has all the slots for everything so everything is uh, visible except for uh, I think changing the uh, changing the three G. Right now I have a little Okay. Well that's my iPad, so I have it on. So I'll just put that in and kind of show you with it in, so I'll put this down. So the case the reason why I choose this case and recommend this case, and really this is the only case I've really needed, is because of the fact that this case has everything working uh, it kind of stands up so as you can see uh, when the, ca the case comes up a little bit when you fold it so you get an extra inch so it kinda you know brings your iPad up a bit well like this would be level but it kind of angles it slightly towards you not too much, but, you know, barely. Then, what you can do is stand it up like that. So, as you can see, you know, you just stand it up like that, and it kind of stays pretty well. Now, um, the last uh, thing that I'm going to be talking about is, like, uh, right there. So, you can have that. That's your audio that's coming out the speakers. You know, everything's all visible except for the audio down button which is right there right at the tip there so they mismeasured by a bit there everything else is measured pretty much exactly so they're like they kind of moved it off a little bit that's okay the reason uh, the another reason why I chose this case is because oh yes you can actually still uh, change your 3G, if you have a 3G iPad. The thing is, is, that I like about this case is, as you can see, that's like a good, you know, centimeter, um, you know, one sixteenth of an inch if you want it measured that way, you know, that thick. Uh, and that will really protect your iPad. Another thing is it also closes, so I've dropped this a few times uh, and it hasn't broken. Uh, I find with iPod pads, 
well, I haven't really dropped my iPad or broken it, but with iPod Touches, I know that they break pretty easily unless they're in a case. You know, the screens really break easy, and they're made out of glass, uh, and they're, like, shiny and all that, and they break quite easy. So, you know, that's why I recommend this. Now, next, uh, I'm going to hold the camera here, actually. Instead, I'll just turn down the lights. Next to Okay, so now I have the lights off, so this might be easier to see. I'm going to be holding this. So we have our first app, which is animation. Uh, what was it? Uh, animation HD. So this is, um, you know, going to pop up. With, I'm going to show you the price. It's going to pop up in the video. Uh, no thanks. So this is an animation that I've uh, made, so you just click edit, you can have a whole bunch of animations. So I just quickly made that. Now, um, basically you draw each thing with pens, you can make the tools pop out. So the only ways to get this off your iPad is to direct it. Okay, so anyways, uh, I couldn't show you that, but that's YouTube right there. And that next one is Twitter. You have uh, pixels, so you can choose the size of the tool. The tools that you have is pencil, eraser, uh, paintbrush, line, rectangle, circle, spray paint, uh, dropper, you know, to copy a color, uh, positioner, image. So you can insert images with this. Um, basically, with the brush, uh, the nice thing that none of the other apps have, the brush does is if you make your th finger big, and then you kind of stop at the end. I don't know why that happened. Uh, I have a hair on there. Okay. I'll have to click. Okay, this app, which is not responsive, sucks because of that. So. I did not do anything. Okay, well, this app really sucks because it crashes and it's not responsive all the time, which I think they should improve. But you can go from thin to thick with the paintbrush. That's a nice thing. You can change the background color. You can only undo three times, which is another bad thing. You can copy a uh, frame, so have it for play for a few frames. Okay, this is... So, we'll just hit play. And you can kind of see my animation. So we'll just stop. Now, uh, you can go. You can have a whole bunch of animations if you purchase the full thing. If you don't, you can only have like three. So they do have a demo. Uh, animation, which is my next app. So the price I think is like three dollars for this. I'll have a correction if I'm wrong. Now this one is highly responsive everything works pretty well but uh, oh okay uh, undo undo so this one they just implemented this new thing or they a while ago I haven't really used it much but uh, you can I insert an image and rotate it so these are the default images that they have so as you can see I inserted the image and Oh, no, it's missing one frame for some reason. But basically, I'll just stop that. So you can increase the speed, decrease the speed of the playing. Uh, you know, you can insert images, text over here. Um, you just hold that for a second, change the color of the paintbrush. You can switch tools to pencil, all that. Now the thing is, is you don't get thick and thin with this. So that sucks. You can get curves, you can make lines, boxes, all that. This one uh, doesn't really have as many problems as the last one. And uh, you can uh, also export it as like a GIF, I think, and send it to yourself, like through email. So that's good if you wanted to like edit it further. Um, 
you know you have a few things that you can also make the background change out of the frame make it look like uh, you were drawing on paper uh, add audio to this one and you can email post to YouTube as a video and uh, do you can post frame to TwitPic which is something I haven't done so it is a pretty good app uh, you know you can undo and redo a whole bunch of times you can have like uh, five layers whereas the last one you can only have one you can select certain objects and then rotate that part like it's kinda like so I go like that select um, you know move so I move that from there to there and I select that part so that's really good um, tool there so that's that now there's I animator light now that means I haven't purchased the full version but basically um, this one's really nice because of uh, you actually have like a username so say you have a whole bunch of people that use the same iPad uh, you can't access anyone's files um, otherwise I haven't really used this too much but basically this you load images uh, you can either take them with the camera or have them from a photo album and that's how you make your animations uh, you can't um, really edit them like so yeah you can't edit them too much I imagine that you might be able to draw them with the full thing but um, yeah you can't really do much on the demo so just in case the full thing doesn't do anything you know don't want to say anything so the last one app that I have uh, so those are like the three that you want I'd say animations the best because um, animation HD which is that I also have like a full name just in case but yeah that one sucks for it crashes a lot so they ha still have a lot of uh, bugs with this one so now we have Soundhound now I'm going to go to computer so I have my computer on here um, you don't really need to look at that but so I'm gonna play a song okay so I'm gonna play a song now and then hit uh, tap here so it can actually, this thing will actually find songs. The free version you can only have five uh, songs a day and then you have to kind of get more songs or wait the next day. So I'm going to actually show a demonstration of this. So you can hear that. And it found it in five seconds. Or even less like maybe 10 seconds max but yeah uh, Soundhound we like to uh, don't allow but yeah so it's by Lincoln Park they actually have a YouTube video just in case you want to uh, find it for later you they actually save everything so it says like all this uh, what okay yeah that's for my songs but yeah, this is Linkin Park, Bleed It Out, that's the actual song. Uh, you know, it says the album and all that. Gives the date, 2007. Um, you can go to your history of the songs you've listened to. All this. So this is, like, really great for if you don't know the name of a song or, you know, you just want to know the name by listening to it. Um, really great. So, like... You can even listen to the same songs, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, it can't. You usually find the song by now. Okay, yeah, it took a little longer, but it actually found the song and a YouTube video of it. But yeah, so that's great. Um, you know, works pretty good. It's better than the other one that some people use. I can't even remember what that one's called because I haven't used it. So I think it's about like six dollars to buy. 
um, or, uh, you know, you can have the free version where you can only listen to five a day. So, you can also type in artists, you can uh, name some lyrics, so say you know some lyrics. This one, uh, you can also probably sing the song, I, I know that some people have sung the song, and it will still kind of uh, get it, uh, so that's also really good, so, SoundHound, great app.